the sector is very young. I would say it's very old at the same time very young. Because when you think of the traditional ICTs, you know, which is radio and others, they've been dead for years. But the new ICTs, which are, you know, the mobile and the web and all those things, they are new. Yeah, they're pretty new. So that's why sometimes I say the sector is old at the same time new. But when we take the the new, the emerging sector of ICT for AG, is I would say that the interest has been very high from all partners because they have seen the need to 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 facilitate access to information for agriculture and rural development. I would say the investors maybe in different categories those that are interested in the development of the new innovations and those that are interested in the actual implementation on the ground so we have private investors most of them they want to support the new innovations they want to support hackathon development of new ones and see how it works but most of them are unable to support the implementation what is what is the impl implication of all this we hear of ict for ag is it actually benefiting the users on the ground and we find it difficult to to show to them that this is the impact because we don't have successful evaluation of these applications on the ground so we had experts from monitoring evaluation and research who also talk about how we can do it better and we had some donors over there telling us the approaches that they take in, in terms of uh, giving funds to support ICT for us. It's difficult to, 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 to prove scientifically that this has been assessed and this is the impact. You know, farmers' productivity has increased, income, you know, as a result of the use of this application. So if we are able to prove to them, I believe, you know, a number of them will be willing to invest and put money in it.